What's going on, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. It's starting to get cold. Don't get caught out there in the whitetail rut in the deer stand. Now is the time to be out chasing after the big bass. There's a lot of big fish get caught this time of the year. The big bait bite's about to be in full effect, but we got a bunch of stuff that's gonna be awesome for fall fishing. So the first one, we got a new swim bait by Huddleston. We got the new Huddleston Deluxe Top Hook Shad Swim Bait. So, you know, sometimes it's super hard for us to get new stuff from Huddleston. We are super stoked to get this new Top Hook Shad. So they used to make this shad in a weedless model. Now we got a full Top Hook model. If you know anything about Huddleston Swim Baits, they've been catching giant bass for years and years. They're mostly known for their big trout, but this little shad, you know, is got the vortex, the signature vortex tail design on it. And it's just a perfect little shad imitation. It comes in at three quarters of an ounce. So you can throw this on just about any type of setup you have. If you just have, you don't need a specialty swim bait rod to throw this thing, any kind of all purpose rod, you know, anywhere 12 to 20 pound line will do just fine. You can even throw this on a spinning rod if you want, it's small enough. And this is just gonna get that subtle action. It's gonna be great for when that water cools off. And if the bass are chasing shad around your lake right now, there's no better way to match the hatch than this little top hook shad from Huddleston. Get these while you can. All right, next up, from river to sea, we got the new Whopper Plopper 60. If you're not familiar with the Whopper Plopper, you must have just started bass fishing today. The Whopper Plopper has been one of those popular baits for the last five or six years or so. So they've um, increased the lineup and give you a new 60 size. So tiny little guy, when everyone's going down the bank with the 130, or they're chasing really small bait and you want to just change it up a little bit, change it up a little bit, that little, that smaller tail is going to give you just a little bit different pitch. It's not going to be as deep of a sound. So a little bit softer of a pitch, a little bit more finesse, you know, smaller package. It's going to be easy for anything from, you know, one pound and up to just come up and eat this whole thing and get both hooks in their mouth. So, you know, if you're a fan of the Whopper Plopper, which pretty much every bass angler is, add another one to your lineup, throw the Whopper Plopper 60 in your box. All right, we got another new finesse style bait. This one's from Fit, Fitzgerald. This is the Brian Thrift Tungsten Micro Jig. So it's a tungsten jig. This one here is a three quarter ounce and it looks to be about the size of a normal, like a three eighths ounce football head jig. So this is an awesome jig, especially if you fish any kind of deep clear water reservoirs and uh, you know you just want that more compact jig profile. What's cool about these, these small tungsten jigs, they make them all the way up to a three quarter ounce. So they, I believe they come in three-eighths, half, and three-quarters. They come with a hand-tied skirt on them. They come with a Mustad Ultra Point hook. This is a light wire hook, so you can use, you know, 12-pound line, and you're not gonna have any problem on a long cast getting that hook driven into the fish's mouth. It's got a really light weed guard on it, so just the perfect amount to keep that hook point protected. You know, whenever you need to downsize, especially coming up in the winter time, we got, you know, this has got that thi kind of thinner silicone material on it and it's hand tied, so you're gonna get great action out of it. But overall, just a smaller, more compact jig, uh, just gonna be great in the cold water, winter time, pressured fish, anything like that. And with the tungsten, you're getting an overall smaller package and you're gonna get way more sensitivity with the tungsten than you will with the lead. Just an awesome jig designed by Brian Thrift, one of the best bass anglers of all time, so make sure you check out his new football jig. Next up from Berkeley, we got a couple things from Berkeley. The first one here is their new Power Pop Frog. So this is kind of a hybrid lure. Um, it's a it's a soft, you know, or soft but you know, pretty dense foam material. It's not a hollow body, so it's a dense foam. In the package, it comes with an EWG style hook in the package, so you rig it up with an EWG, and it's completely weedless. So if you're trying to fish a popper around those last little bits of grass that are dying off or wood, brush, anything like that, and you just can't get a treble hook lure through there, this is gonna be the way you wanna go. So you kinda get a hybrid lure, you know, all in one, you get that kind of frog profile with the legs, but you're gonna get that great popping action that you would get out of a traditional popper. So, you know, there's not much top water season left, you wanna get it while you can. Check out the new Berkeley Power Pop Frog. All right, next up, we got a few new models of the Flicker Shad, the Berkeley Flicker Shad. This bait's been around for years and years. Um, people catch everything from bass to trout. I mean, a lot, I know a lot of people troll these for walleyes. Uh, what's cool about these new models is we got the new HD series of colors. So as you can see, you know, there's phenomenal printed paint schemes on these things. So if you're trying to really match the hatch or you fish in really, really clear water, these HD colors are gonna be the way to go. These are already phenomenal baits. They come in, there's a shallow runner, deep runners, uh, they're broken bodies. There's multiple sizes in each of them. So, uh, you know, just a little bit, 
nicer colors than the traditional flicker shag colors, which is already a phenomenal bait. So you really want to step it up, match the hatch. They got all different patterns, bluegills, shads, yellow perch, whatever you're trying to mimic, they have a printed pattern of these. So check out the new flicker shads from Berkeley. All right, another hot fall bait we got here. We got the new Lunker Hunt Big Eye Tail Spinner. So this time of the year is when the tail spinner shines, you know, especially in those deep clear water reservoirs, especially if you have a lot of suspended fish. These things are awesome. You can vertical jig them, you can cast them and reel them. Uh, with this little guy, I believe this is a three quarter ounce model and you can see how small it is. So you'll be able to fire this a mile, even in windy conditions. Then it has that little blade on the back so you just get a little bit more flash. So it's like a kind of a combination of a blade bait and a spinner bait all in one. You get a little bit more flash than you would with a traditional blade bait. But these are just great for those suspended fish, you know, when they're chasing those really young shad around, those really young of the year shad. These are a great way to catch them. And don't forget when, uh, when they get down there suspended on those ledges and you got a vertical jig, these are gonna be the ones you wanna go to in the fall. All right, a couple soft plastics for you here. From 10,000 fish, we got the new Yoto worm. This is a super cool bait I'm actually pretty pumped up about. So it's a, kind of a hybrid lure. It, it is called the Yodo worm, but there's so many different things you can do with it. It's got this really heavy ribbing on it. So it's gonna just move a tremendous amount of water and, it, and it's gonna put out a really strong vibration. And the way it's designed, you can do just about anything with this bait. You can drop shot it, you can throw it on a Texas rig. It's got a flat head, so you can just fish it on a little darter head or a little ball jig. Um, this is also, because of the tail wiggle on this, this is going to be a phenomenal trailer for any type of vibrating jig. So, you know, there's, there's not that many vibrating jig trailers out there on the market that actually do a really good job of, you know, capturing the action of a vibrating jig. This one is going to do it. So that tail just goes back and forth. You can throw this on a spinner bait. You can throw it on a swim jig, a scrounger head, whatever you want to do. So, um, you know, sky's the limit with this bait. They come loaded with scent. There's a bunch of awesome colors in this, in this bait. Um, you know, let us know down in the comments what you guys plan on doing with this little Yodo worm. All right, next up from Grande Bass, we got the new Crusher Craw. So, you know, phenomenal crawdad design. You know, right now, jig bite tends to get really, really good. This is gonna be a great trailer for that. You can also Texas rig it, flip it. You know, you can punch it in those last little bits of mats that are still hanging around that haven't died off yet. What's cool about this craw is it's got a really realistic crawdad body on it. And then the legs, or the claws, that, excuse me, they have um, a bunch of different raised ridges on there. So there's multiple raised ridge lines on there that get a tremendous flapping action. So really aggressive action. If you're looking for a more aggressive crawdad presentation right now, this is gonna be the one you wanna check out from Grande Bass. All right, we got some new line, reels, we got some rods as well. So the first one, this is the best of show iCast winner, best of show line winner. This is the Berkeley Floral Shield line. So this is a fluorocarbon infused copolymer. So kind of a hybrid style line, which actually makes it really, really strong since it's, uh, since it's fused together. So you're kind of getting the benefits of both fluorocarbon and copolymer in one. And it comes in at a great price point. It's got great knot strength. It's, it's actually really, really abrasion resistant as well because it's a, an infused line. And since the fluorocarbon is infused to that copolymer, you're gonna get better invisibility than, when you, than you would with a normal copolymer. So it's nearly invisible. Um, and it's also extremely manageable as well, especially for spinning reels. Some lines are not the easiest lines to manage on spinning reel. This line does a really good job of that. So if you're looking for some new line, great price point, does just about everything you want. It's got all the great attributes you would need in fluorocarbon and copolymer. Check out the new um, Floral Shield from Berkeley. All right, two new reels that we're super pumped about that we finally got into Tackle Warehouse. So the first one is the new Corrado 70 MGL. If you've never used a 50 or 70 size reel, I highly recommend trying one out. These really shine when you're gonna be throwing, you know, really light handmade like balsa style crankbaits or, you know, uh, uh, weightless Cinco's, uh, weightless flukes anything like that, anything that's really small and hard to throw on normal bait casting equipment. When you go down to the 70 size spool, it just makes life way easier. The castability of these reels is far superior than you would go up to like a 200 size reel with light baits. And the benefits of this reel, it's got that MGL, that 70 size MGL spool in there. So it's lighter weight, it takes less inertia to get the, the, uh, the spool spinning. So just far fewer backlashes. And then it has all, you know, the great, 
the great attributes that Corrado, the Corrados are known for. So it's got the Hagane body, it's got X-ship, micromodular gears, so super smooth reel, as you would expect from anything from the Corrado family. But now that smaller size, gonna make throwing those lighter baits and smaller you know, weightless presentations a lot easier. Check out the new 70 size. The next one, another addition to the Corrado family. So this is in the regular 200 size Corrado. We got the new PG models. So the PG models are five to one gear ratio. So we got them in right and left handed. So if you never use a five to one gear ratio, it's like putting your truck down in four low. You know, you put it down in four low, you have all that power and you can just grind baits. These really excel when you're trying to, you know, slow roll baits on the bottom. Um, it you know kind of forces you to slow down and you're not going to pick up too much line and get and get your bait off the bottom and another technique that's really shiny is deep diving crankbaits um, I throw all my deep diving crankbaits you know like 8xds 10xds c25s those big you know magnum sized crankbaits on a five to one ratio and it is so much easier and just way easier on your body all day when you're throwing a five to one ratio it just makes makes life a lot better when you're using the five to one. So if you're throwing a lot of deep diving crankbaits or big swim baits or anything like that, definitely check out the five to one gear ratio. It just has so much more power than the higher gear ratios and much easier to pull the, you know, those big high resistance baits, big spinner baits, stuff like that. That's the one you're gonna wanna have right there. All right, we got two new rods in. The first one here is new Okuma Guide Select Cranking Series. So the Guide Select's been a phenomenal rod series from Okuma for years and years. And now they have a whole lineup of crankbait rods. So it's a phenomenal, phenomenal series. They have 24 ton carbon graphite um, blanks on here. And I like the, I like the graphite, uh, the graphite blanks a little bit better than composites or glass personally. I've always been a, a guy that cranks on graphite. I just like a little bit better sensitivity. And to me, it's easy, a little bit easier to cast on the graphite rod. And they all have moderate action, so they load way down into the blank. It's not like a traditional, you know, seven foot medium heavy fast or anything like that. They all have that moderate action. So loads way down in the blank, easy to throw crank baits and then just keeps them pinned while you're fighting them. Uh, they got Fuji, Fuji K concept guides and alkanite inserts. Um, and then they have a Fuji reel seat and then they have a really comfortable grip on here. So it's got a bunch of different finger channels, super comfortable. Uh, they got tapered core candles and then some of the models actually come in a full grip and the split grips. It's like the, I believe the 710s are the models that have that. So you can have the choice. If you like the split grip, if you like the full grip, whatever you want, they got you covered. They got both offerings in the, in the cranking lineup from the Okuma Guide Select Series. Next one we got here from Luz, we got the new KVD Rod Series. So everyone's been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, Kevin said he's been working on this for about over a year. I believe he's got 20 different, 23 different models in this whole series. So there's regular casting models, spinning models, and then there's glass composite cranking models as well. So, you know, any technique you want to do, there's a rod and KVD's lineup for you. Uh, just a great rod there. This is the graphite series. These are built on IM8 blanks. And I really like this new reel seat they put on it. So it's a custom reel seat and there's a lot of blank exposure on the bottom of it. So when you're holding it and, you, and you're got your reel on there, you're gonna make a lot of contact with the blank itself, so you're gonna increase your sensitivity. Um, super comfortable EVA foam handles, stainless steel guides with um, alkanite inserts, and then there's, there's a zirconium tip, so the tip is reinforced super strong. So if you're running and gunning it and you're reeling your baits all the way up to the tip and laying them down, you're not gonna have to worry about knocking that insert out on the tip. Um, and then all of KVD's rods are actually labeled with a numbering series right here, so if you end up getting multiple models from the series, you'll have the number of what rod it is in the series. So when they're all laying on your deck, you'll be able to identify what rod you're actually grabbing and make sure you're grabbing the right one. If you have a bunch of, you know, multiple baits tied up on um, different actions of rods, you'll make sure you got the right power of rod there. Um, back by loses one year warranty and they're coming at 99 bucks. Pretty much can't beat the value on these rods, you know, all specifically designed for different applications from Kevin himself. You know, he's got, everything's finely tuned for different styles of baits. So uh, if you're looking for new rod series from Luz, I mean, definitely check out the new KVD rods. All right, last but not least, we got new Tackle Warehouse rod sleeves. So we finally made some neoprene rod sleeves. So heavy duty, they're gonna protect your rods a little bit more than the, the standard mesh ones. Uh, you know, if you got a lot of expensive rods or just want that extra protection, um, you know, taking a lot of long boat rides or going on long trips, 
these are definitely where it's at. So they have a little loop on here, so attach it onto your reel, keep them nice, snug, and secure. You don't have to worry about eyelets popping through the mesh anymore. Uh, just awesome, we're super happy that we got these in to Tackle Warehouse. Got new neoprene rod sleeves. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. For more information and purchase this product seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.